This member of the cabbage family is not only very delicious and healthy, it's also very easy to grow. Let's look at growing kohlrabi. So in today's episode, we will be looking at a variety of kohlrabi called White Vienna. This is an early maturing variety of kohlrabi and one of the most common varieties of kohlrabi that you would find around you. You can start kohlrabi from seeds very easily. You need to sow seeds directly in the ground. You can even buy kohlrabi plants which are available for sale in your local garden center. As your kohlrabi plants are growing, you will need to use a good fertilizer so you could either side dress with compost and uh, manure which will give a lot of nitrogen or you could use a well-balanced fertilizer. You could also use blood meal which is an excellent source of nitrogen. Now the way kohlrabi gets its name is from Germany. In German, kohl is called a cabbage and rabi is a variety of turnip. So the kohlrabi fruit you know or the vegetable or the main part of the kohlrabi actually looks like a turnip and as it grows you can see that it takes a very unique shape of being a turnip and then also sending out these greens or leaves around it. Most kohlrabi plants mature in about 60 to 90 days and a lot of people wait too long to harvest their kohlrabi. You need to harvest the kohlrabi early as soon as you see that uh, they are about you know a small apple sized fruit and what that will do is it will give you the best flavor out of your kohlrabis. It will be very tender, juicy, very pleasant to eat. If you wait too long to harvest your kohlrabi, you're gonna get a very hard and thick skinned fruit which you will have to, you know, uh, chop off and throw away most of it. So this is the early white Vienna variety of kohlrabi that you're seeing. All of these are the same variety and this variety is really easy to grow. It's almost free of any insects or diseases. I was very surprised that uh, you know the insects and diseases never were a problem growing kohlrabi. So once you harvest the kohlrabi you can remove the roots so that you get the fruit and kohlrabi fruit is edible as well as the leafy greens are edible. Now the way you would use your leafy greens is as a substitute for either collards or kale. You could just chop them up and put it in your salad and that makes a great salad. Now kohlrabi fruit can be eaten either raw or cooked. I actually prefer to eat the, the vegetable just raw just like that. Uh, the fruit part of the kohlrabi is really nice, uh, fleshy and soft and provided you harvest it at the right time, it will be really soft and nice. So you take off the skin from the outer part. The skin is usually very tough. So in almost about all cases, you will be removing the skin of the kohlrabi. And once you remove the skin, you will see the actual kohlrabi fruit which is soft and tender. Now once again do not wait for your kohlrabis to become really big because you might get bigger sized fruit by doing that but then the quality of the kohlrabi will deteriorate. So you can throw away the skin and then chop it up and then I'm just gonna try this kohlrabi raw. This looks really nice and juicy. The kohlrabi actually tastes a little sweet and a little mild compared to a radish and you love this taste of kohlrabi. So I hope you like this video of growing kohlrabi. There are other varieties of kohlrabi which I will try to cover in other videos. There's a purple variety of kohlrabi as well. So this year, give it a try. Try growing kohlrabi. It's a cool season crop that can be grown from winter through early spring. 
and I'll see you again soon in another episode of California Gardening. Until then, happy gardening!